In this activity, I will demonstrate how to create a toggle component and also go through the steps of creating a new page condition. Now on the BoomiFlow Build Canvas, we're going to click on the Employ App Page tab to go back to the page layout. And then if necessary, we can scroll back up to our main container. We're going to click here in the main container and we're going to add another container. And here we're going to enter the text Company Car and then save the container. And then if we scroll down, we can see our new container. We're going to save that by clicking on the disk icon. And then we're going to find the toggle component. We're going to place a toggle component in the company car container. And we're going to name this toggle. And then in the label text box, we're going to enter, would you like a company car question mark? So this will be shown to the user. We'll make this required. And then we'll click on select or create a new value. We're going to create a new value. Here we're going to enter the text company car and we're going to make this a boolean value. We're going to click on save and then we can save this component. And if I scroll down you can see the toggle component now. So I'm going to click on the disk icon to save the page layout. And then I'm going to place a combo box under my toggle component in the company car container. So here in the name and label text boxes, I'm going to enter the words company car and I'll make this required. And then I'm going to click on the home tab to go create a type. So I'm going to click on new type. And here I'm going to call this company car again. Then I'll click on new property. And I'm going to name this brand. This is going to be a string. And then I'll click apply property. And then we're just going to save the type. And here we can see our new type created. Then I'm going to return to the page layout where I can select a type. That's going to be my company car type. And then I'll say get the data from a list value by clicking on the radio button here. Then I'm going to select or create a new value. Here I'll create a new value and this is going to be my company car list value. Click on the plus button and we're going to enter brand one and then click on the plus button again and I'll enter brand two then click on save and then I'll click on select or create a new value and create a new value. This is going to be my company car selection. Click on save and then to make this visible to the user I'm going to click on add column and then select brand from the drop down here, click on apply column, and then save the component. And then here we can see our toggle component and company car combo box. I'm going to save this page layout change by clicking on the disk icon here. And then I'm going to click on basic conditions. And we're going to make a basic condition. So from this drop down, I'm going to select the toggle component. And then when the value of the toggle component is true, I want to make the company car combo box present. So I'm going to click on company car combo box here. And I want to make that visible. So I'm going to select visible from this drop down. And now I can click on save the basic condition. So that's been saved successfully. Then I'll click on the disk icon to save my changes. And if you want to review where your basic conditions are, you can look at complex conditions here. And this will show you where the basic conditions are that you've created so far. Then I'm going to click on the flow tab to return to the build canvas. And here I'm going to click on the publish icon. And then in this text box, I'm going to enter boomiflow hyphen employee app hyphen toggle component and then click on publish. So the flow has been published successfully. Then I can click on run. And then we're going to click on let's get started. And here we are back in our page layout for our app. So if I click on this toggle button, we can see the drop down appears. So we have our combo box where we can select our brand. 
And if I deselect the toggle button, then the company car combo box should disappear. So let's try that. And then if I click on it again, we now have this option that reappears. So everything's working properly with our page conditions that we've created and our toggle component and our combo box. We can close our app, return to the platform, and then close out the publish flow window. And then that brings us to the end of Activity 9. Now you may take approximately 10 minutes to complete Activity 9 using your activity guide and referencing pages 71 through 75.